Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm here to talk to you about the new game mechanics in Shadowmore. In this first video, we'll be discussing the major game mechanic in the set, which is hybrid. This is an example of a hybrid mana symbol. As you can see, it's two mini mana symbols smushed into one. When this symbol appears in a cost, you can pay for it with one white mana or one blue mana. This symbol is both a white mana symbol and a blue mana symbol. A card with this cost would have a converted mana cost of one. If a card has any hybrid mana symbols in its mana cost, then it's a hybrid card. Let's check out Wiltleaf Cavaliers. You can tell it's a hybrid card because it has a two-tone frame, half green and half white. Wiltleaf Cavalier's mana cost is green-white, green-white, green-white. You can pay for it by spending three green mana, two green mana and one white mana, one green mana and two white mana, or three white mana. In other words, it'll fit right into a mono green deck or a mono white deck. Of course, it'll be great in a green-white deck, too. Wiltleaf Cavaliers is a multicolor card no matter how you pay for its cost. It's both green and white. It's affected by cards that affect green cards and cards that affect white cards. And in Shadowmore, there are plenty of both. Even better, cards that care about both green cards and white cards could give Wiltleaf Cavalier a double bonus. Hybrid mana symbols always appear in costs. Usually they appear in mana costs, like I just showed you, but sometimes they appear in activated ability costs. Paying a hybrid ability cost works just like paying a hybrid mana cost. Now let's move on to something wacky. There's a cycle of five Shadowmore cards that has monocolored hybrid symbols. They look like this. This is a generic two symbol and a black mana symbol smushed into one. When this symbol appears in a cost, you can pay for it with one black mana or two mana of any type. This symbol is a black mana symbol. It's not a colorless mana symbol. A card with this cost would have a converted mana cost of two. Check out Beseech the Queen. Beseech the Queen's mana cost is two black, two black, two black. You can pay for it by spending three black mana, two black mana and two mana of any type, one black mana and four mana of any type, or six mana of any type. No matter what mana you spend to play Beseech the Queen, it's not a multicolor card. It's just black. And its converted mana cost is six. That's the story on Hybrid. I hope you enjoy playing with it as much as we do.